what I will have, I will have P, sorry, dg dx, okay, then I, what I have, dp dx dg dx integration 0 to L, right? And I have also minus g dp dx, and I have minus g dg dx dp dx from 0 to L, and they, those cancel out. Okay? Now I have this. Now I have this, and there's no integration. Because I did the integration by part. Is it right? <laughs> Should I have 0 to L? Hmm? Indra, should I have 0 to L or, 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 or none? You said that you can do the integration by part, right? I think we must have, right? And that is equal to what? This part minus p, that is minus px0, right? That's simple. Because that, due to the sifting property of a delta function. And then this one gives me plus g integral fx dx. Okay. That means if I move this one over here, px0 is equal to integration g fx dx plus g dp dx plus, sorry, minus p dg dx change, if I change a variable, what I mean is I want to change x0 to x, x to x, and that should be hold because this is linear. Then I can say px is equal to integration g, okay, fx0, dx0, plus g dp dx minus p dg dx. Fantastic! What does it mean? What does it mean? Huh? Boyongi, what does it mean? Let's see a term by term. The pressure magnitude point at point x, Boyongi, okay, has a three different contributions. For example, the pressure over here, if I measure pressure over here, then there's a three contribution. So one is dp dx on x equal 0 and L, right? What is this? This is related with the velocity. So roughly say there is the contribution due to velocity on the boundary. And there is a contribution due to pressure on the boundary. And I know, we know that this is G. G is a Green's function. Green's function always look like, for example, exponential J, K, X minus X zero. Right? When you do the homework, you, you found that because Green's function certainly determines the relation between the excitation and the receivers, receiving point. But I, what I got is related with 
propagation, right? That is j, k, x minus x, zero, depending on the way it propagates, can be minus x plus x, zero, or x minus x, zero. Right? So, this Green's function propagates velocity. And this Green's function propagates the pressure. Wow. So I can argue that I can always predict the pressure x due to any inhomogeneous excitation on one dimensional duct <laughs> that is enclosed by two boundaries. Okay? If there is no velocity source on the boundary, then this term go away. If there is no term, no excitation at the boundary, pressure excitation at the boundary, this term will go away. More importantly, what is G? Does G depend on boundary condition? That's a big question. And most of people who are doing acoustics, unfortunately, misunderstood the selection of G. So let's go back to what, what we formulate, how we formulate. Okay, what we did, we, we forced, we forced to start with the inhomogeneous acoustic wave equation. Right? And we assume the harmonic solution. So we have no. In other words, we F zero equal F exponential. Okay? And then what we did, we, 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 we introduced the Green's function okay. up, to, up to this derivation. We didn't talk about anything about the boundary condition, right? Right? We didn't, we didn't restrict anything that is associated with the boundary condition. Right? Sung Hoon, you complete the O curve. Hmm? You, you, you back to, right? Right? Huh? You train? Right? Up to that point, we didn't talk, we didn't restrict to anything that has to do with the boundary condition.